Welcome to Sankofa Podcast. My name is Lynn and this is David. So, David, today's topic is why is submission such a trendy topic? So, before we do that, let's let's go and uh, define what submission means. Yeah, I don't know. Submission, let's go ahead and just find out what submission is. So, submission uh the, the submission is a state of being obedient. Uh, the act of accepting the uh, authority or control of someone else's. That's pretty much what the, that's what it pretty much means. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. And as you know, you know, I think it's very much related to our previous topic. Yep. Um, we've seen video of like men talking about uh the need for their wife or women to submit to their husband Mm -hmm. and i was wondering like why do you think it's such a trendy topic honestly it's a very good um, uh, it's a very good question it's a trendy topic i don't know what the whole thing about submission is to be honest i don't know where it comes from all of a sudden like women are not submissive uh women are masculine women are not fit for marriage anymore uh, women are being modernized too much. I, I don't really understand um, where all these comes from, but uh, I don't really see it though. So I don't know unless uh, there's something going on on social media I don't know about, but I don't I don't understand the whole thing. But what do you think about submission yourself? Like, uh, when it comes to like submission, the way that the basically they demand submission mm-hmm. from you know wives and um women yeah. i personally don't understand what's the obsession with the need to have women to submit to you mm-hmm. i believe that in a marriage in a relationship it's supposed to be a partnership mm-hmm. it's supposed to be something that both people are coming together and basically if they have children or if they're just together they're running a household together yeah together yeah you know Mm -hmm. as as um and when i say as equal when i say as equal doesn't mean that they all have like the fair like like the same uh division of responsibility but but it's like different whatever might be the best Mm -hmm. for like let's say if the the man love to cook yeah there's nothing wrong with him cooking. No. Maybe he's better, like he's better at it. Maybe he enjoys it, and it's fine. The yeah. same way, if the the woman prefer to like take care of like the financial side, how mm-hmm. are we gonna spend our money? Yeah. Uh, what do we need to pay? Things like that. If it's your aptitude, if it's your quality, I don't see what's wrong with yeah, it. I don't, uh, I don't. I don't really believe in the whole need to be traditional you have to cook because you're a woman and things like that based solely based on gender i don't i don't think to me it doesn't make any sense any sense because everybody has different strength and That's it doesn't true. mean that it it's going to be the same just because of your gender yeah i, yeah. I totally agree uh with you i'm just add something here uh, i totally agree um i feel like when it comes to um what do we call it uh, submission me for submission i don't understand when people are like uh, you know when you go see someone straight, straight up like oh are you submissive like what do you mean are you submissive like you, you don't ask someone when you're gonna date them and like when you see someone on your street yeah it's it's not something that you ask like oh are you submissive like you know it's something that comes naturally you know yeah. when you see when it comes naturally when somebody's submissive if the person likes you automatically they're gonna because i don't really like the word submission i feel like the yeah. person's just gonna you know because everybody comes with different things you know mm-hmm. the way they act the, the way they're gonna be and all that so i don't f- i don't find like well submissive means being submissive to whatever the other person's um mission mission is like yeah. whatever their mission but i feel like you're like you're, you were saying you're right if i if i'm gonna go meet someone or meet a girl mm-hmm. and we're gonna come together yeah it's both of our i mean if i have a mission or i have a dream or i have an idea 
I can talk to her about it, mm -hmm. talk to her about it, and then come, you know, come together, and she can be like, you know what, it's a good idea. I'm gonna support you. Yeah. Let's do this together. Yeah. But as partnership, but it's not like oh, um, the way that I see submission, the way they're talking about it. I feel like they're like saying uh, the woman has to stay home. Yeah. Um, she she has to you know don't say much, don't do anything, just like submit to me and follow whatever I have to do. Yeah. But I feel like this whole thing about women not being submissive, it's more about, I think, more about women now taking their their place, pretty much. I'll say that they, they're tired of being told what to do. Yeah. They have their own dreams. Well, they want to do their as, own. As if, like, because of their gender, they're exactly. inferior. Exactly. And I find also that, like, the way they talk about it, it's very mm -hmm. much rooted in control. Yep. And the same way, like, you know, it's not exactly the same context but if you're at work mm -hmm. nobody likes to be controlled even at work yeah you know? i mean you have to do what you have to do but you don't really like to be controlled yeah exactly nobody right. nobody likes to be controlled so i don't mm -hmm. understand why um these type of people or podcasts who you know like support this type of narrative yeah. don't understand that you know women are their own people yeah or I, they're their the own thing. person yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. If you, I mean, you tell me if maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what's going on in the um, in in the when it comes when it comes to social media or reality of things. But I feel like the the reason why women are doing this is is it's, I feel like this because they're tired of of being controlled. And a lot of the time when they when they talk about uh, submission and be and going back to the like you know where women were home the, like the, like the good old days the good old days like like traditional women like traditional means, yeah exactly so but when you think about traditional um there were traditional women back then where mm -hmm. they were but it didn't apply to black women because black women were always they were always working yeah because of the historical context exactly. like i don't want i don't wanna necessarily I, I mean we don't want to get deep, in too deep but yes but it was we were like historically always working, working. but so i don't really the understand. thing the thing about when they talk about submission and they want to go back to traditional uh, ways of way women were but i feel like the reason why the feminist movement came i mean if every if they were happy being at home mm -hmm. and they were just being treated well i mean right. who would complain so yeah. i feel like if yeah i don't want to go to the whole like uh, specific of it yeah. but i feel like if we talk about like if we generalize a little bit if we mm -hmm. bring it a little bit down if i feel everything like was fine if everything was fine yeah. why would they want to be even if they wanted equality because they want because they felt like they couldn't get their own they couldn't get their own banks they needed a man to do everything yeah you know what i mean so they didn't want to be controlled anymore they didn't and i feel like it, it opens door to a lot of abuse and, and all mistreatment and mm -hmm. all those things i feel like it didn't the feminist movement didn't just come out of nowhere yeah. i feel like they that's why the whole there was something that, there was something know, that was like going on yeah because the, if the i'm need. if i'm home i mean if i'm a stay-at-home person as a woman and i'm getting everything that i need and i don't get abused and all that why would i want to go get it myself exactly if I'm, i get everything done for me it's like my whole life is paid for mm -hmm. uh, all i have to do is just home uh stay home and be a homemaker pretty yeah. much so i feel like there's more to it than just um the feminist movement i feel like there's more to it of course they wanted to be able to do their own thing yeah well be be in charge of their own yeah, life own without lives, depending pretty much. On, on, on a man approving there you go their, their choices and i feel like you know from what i've seen i feel like the argument the whole argument about submission yeah. is often rooted in religion and i was wondering like do you think without religion like the expectation of submission would be the same i don't think so a, a lot of i mean religion plays a big part in submission as well because mm -hmm. it's in the bible as well you know i don't want to get too in specific, uh, specific into that but i think it would be different because even in the bible um it says yeah woman um man uh, women submit to your to your to your husband yeah and men love your wife mm -hmm. uh, like the uh, like the like jesus loved the church okay you know what i mean and yeah it goes so on so far so you know it does a hierarchy right so man uh, i mean god over men man over woman and woman over the kids right you know but as as the society goes on you know even in the bible it says be smart be intelligent like a serpent it's okay. in the Bible as well. 
You know what I mean? So I feel like um, even as a woman and even as a man, you both have to be smart as well. Even if you guys, even if a woman has to submit to a man because the strength and well, yeah, I always think it's because of the way a woman is built and the way the man is built. But if there is love, a man will not oppress. If you if there, if you love your wife, mm-hmm. you're gonna you're not gonna oppress her. The thing is, it's not women not submitting to the man. It's it's because of the 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 abuse. Because if there is no abuse and there is respect between the the female, I mean, sorry, the, the woman and the male, <laughs> and, and the and then the woman and too the man. Too much red pill too, podcast. Too much red pill. <laughs> so if there is respect between both parties, I don't think submission will even be a word. Yeah. Or even be a a subject that we're talking about. You know. Even the who what 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 do you bring to your table? Yeah, what, I mean, what is it? What do, what do you mean? Like, like, what do you bring I, to I the bring table? I bring myself in a fork. Like, <laughs> like I bring you myself know, you in a fork. You invited me, so exactly. But the thing is, what do you bring to the table? If you tell me, if you ask me, what do I bring to the table? Well, I'm, I take care of myself. Well, no, well, not take care of myself. But what do I bring to the table? Well, I'm educated. I take care of my own thing. And if we come together, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do yeah, it together. It's gonna be But a partnership. But what do you mean? What do I bring to the table? Like when you say what do you bring to the table, the person has a life. Yeah. Th- like you have a life. Yeah. You know. So if you have a life, well, I'm bringing my life, and your life together. We're gonna build together. But if you ask me what do I bring to the table, I, I don't I don't understand that word. Like yeah. Like it, it's not even a word that you should be like. What do you bring to the table? Is well, when we date, when mm-hmm. we start dating, you're gonna you're gonna get to know me. And I'm gonna get to know you, and whatever you get to know is whatever I bring to the table. Exactly. You know what I mean? And and it's it's it's. I feel like it's to degrade. It's degrading when you ask someone what do you bring to the table. The person is gonna bring something to the table. Yeah. Well. You know I, what I mean? Sometimes, like it could be um, the way the person is, it contributes to your life. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're a stressful person. The person already works. Uh, I mean, both of them are already working, like working people. Right. And maybe you're 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 funnier. And you're gonna bring joy. And you're gonna bring laughter in my in my. Exactly. You know what I mean? Exactly. I don't know. Maybe you're about very. Bringing t- yeah. Like, what do you mean, bring? What do I bring to the table? Like, yeah, it's I'm, it's a strange. I question. take care of myself and I do my own thing. Exactly. So if I come to your life, you're gonna get to know me, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna exchange. We're gonna exchange. You know, like we're gonna put our strength. There you go. Together. That's But there you go. Even even the question, what do you bring to the table? Yeah. Is, I. But at the same time, you're asking for submission. Yeah. But you're asking me what I bring to the table. So you're yeah. making demands of what do I have to offer you. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you're asking for submission. Submission for me, for for me, me. it doesn't make sense. I, I I don't get it. When when they talk about submission, like honestly, I seriously don't get it because a woman would naturally. Well, I, I'm not saying women should all submit, uh, because you know you need the respect. I mean, even for women, there's no respect. There's no, um, they don't, they, they, they naturally don't feel it. You know what I mean? It, it won't come. Mm-hmm. But I don't feel like you. The submission needs to be talked about. Yeah. It's, it's natural. It's, it's a natural instinct. Even a man submit. We all submit. Yeah. We're, even, even to we're all wife. submitting, and so and, and we all submit to our wife yeah. too. Yeah. Because woman brings a lot of idea. And the funny thing is, they, they like to talk about. Well, but they, there's out there they talk about um, man is the leader and all that. They're the one they lead. I mean, I, I've, I've worked in the bank. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. and a lot of men don't even know what's going on with their with their bank account. Because their woman their is the wives that are, that are that are that are like taking care of the finances. Mm-hmm. So when I was asking him a question, he didn't know, he didn't have a clue. And his bank account was doing great. <laughs> his bank account was doing very great, but he didn't have any clue to. Mm-hmm. He didn't know what was going on. I mean, it, I would still, well, for me, I was still want to know what's going on with my bank account yeah of course because you no. want to know exactly what, what, what is the activity what's, what's there? the activity like, is there any suspicious exactly but he just let his girl he right. just let his wife take care of everything which is fine so that's what i'm saying it's when you come together mm-hmm. then everybody would decide what's your strong suit like okay you're better at savings we'll, we'll put the savings in your hands yep. and i'll take care of this okay i'm better at this i'm doing this are you good even cooking Yeah. Some men cook way better than women. Mm-hmm. Some in, in in the households, men are the the one that are cooking. You know what I mean? So yeah. it doesn't like when you like you should know how to cook for yourself as a man. Exactly. Don't don't be like oh do you know how to cook? What hap- what happened if she gets injured and like you know when you're you the get one married? You need to step in. Exactly. You know to take and care. you're supposed to help each other out. Like right. Like it's not always a woman that has to cook or clean. Sometimes you can do it together. Yeah. Especially when you guys have kids. Mm-hmm. She's gonna be running the kids and she's gonna be going to work. And she's gonna be the only way. Like me, I don't like when they say that. 
you're gonna stay at home wife some of them some wives do not want to stay at home yeah some people want, want, want their, their career. career yeah and it's okay mm-hmm. you just have to make it work you know what i mean exactly. or else you don't give her her career and the next thing you know she's not happy mm-hmm. and yes she's taking care of the kids at home but what happened to her like she all her life is just she's just defined by just you just defined by just giving birth yeah doesn't make any sense to me. exactly no I, mean, i feel like respect yes submission it's gonna come naturally she's mm-hmm. naturally gonna give you respect because that's what man wants it's just respect but the respect comes from when you guys both exchange respect as well but women want respect too. As, that's same, what i'm saying yeah the both same way, uh, yeah you have to um, you have to exchange respect exactly but I, i don't feel like you can come and demand sp- or expect submission mm-hmm. without even listening to the needs of your partner exactly. it doesn't make any sense how do you even want her to even open up yeah you know how, how do you want her to open up if you don't give her respect yeah. so submission for me me if, if somebody asks me submission is it's like for me you're telling me like how controllable are you i mean exactly. it's like pretty much like <laughs> okay so how controllable are you like that's mm-hmm. the definition on like i mean that's on, on, a, not, on a scale of one to ten how submissive like i mean how mm-hmm. can con- no just say how controlling are you how much can i control you yeah pretty much exactly so, so. um yeah i always say um i mean submission when it comes to submission i, I wouldn't even ask a girl that you'll know by yourself and you decide yeah. for yourself if how much how much submissive that i don't know why you want submissive so much I me mean, i prefer one i i want a girl that i can i can work with you know what i mean mm-hmm. someone that i can partnership we're together we have love for each other we're going back and forth i don't want someone that's going to be like oh sleep here like you get bored with that and and it's not true that men want women that are just completely just like submissive what well submissive mean like they're not like they don't like i mean conversation pretty much yeah because uh, otherwise she, 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 she you're gonna ask her to jump she's gonna say how, how high, high you know like, what i mean i want a girl with her own who, who has her own brain you know yeah. what i mean i want you to think for yourself you know what i mean i wanted to be t- want, i want you to be yourself yeah exactly you know what i mean it's so very important yeah i mean i don't i don't get why like they want to they, they want a girl that just submit like do this and you're and she's doing like she's like what she's a robot go get yourself a robot then But or a dog you know what i mean for a dog to do whatever you want it exactly to, it's not fun and I, i don't think that they respect a lot of women that just do submission only they don't respect I don't as a man so. they don't come on and also i feel like the same way you're asking for submission from your wife well future wife or wh- whatever the case may be yeah. whatever you're asking is it the advice that you would give to your daughter exactly that's what you, that's a good question you know what i yeah. mean that's a very good thing that you just said like the way the way you're saying that um um i mean we want all women to submit and all that would you tell your daughter that mm-hmm. and the thing that's crazy is that you know when it comes to african culture yeah th- there's a lot of like submit to your husband if your husband do this just let him do it even if it's toxic just let just like don't say anything a lot of africans in their in their household they're not happy they just they just live in a submission where they're like oh he's a man don't we can't say anything with a man But what do you mean What do you mean is a man? Like uh, uh, yes, a man because what I'm saying men are not raised sometimes. We're not really raised to like become like t- no, we're not raised to become husbands. We just yeah. we just know that oh, I'm a man. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I, I don't remember gives you exactly privilege because just privilege gen- gender defined There that while well, society uh, uh, allows me to, exactly. to be a certain way, you exactly. know. Exactly. Because as a growing up, I don't I don't remember my my well, we're we're disciplined obviously as Africans we're disciplined, but we're not taught to be uh oh this is how you have to treat your wife mm-hmm. but you see my sisters are better go to the kitchen right now you better go you better go clean you better you know there you see the women are being raised to mm-hmm. to do all to those things to, ca- to, to cater to a man but a man is not that's why like a man are always demanding a woman oh he don't she doesn't know how to cook i'm bringing her back to her mother like what the hell like you know what i mean she doesn't know how to cook your daughter doesn't know how to cook you know but I'm, that's what i'm saying that we should we sh- men should also learn these things and and understand that it's not easy for women to be able to do all those things yeah and still give you everything that they what what are they so it's like when a man when a man ask that to a woman i feel like you're like it's like sl- it's it sounds like slave you know yeah, like it's it, a, it sounds it, it yeah. sounds a little bit slave you know yeah exactly like you're, you're there yeah. you're there to to meet my needs you know what i mean but i'm not really interested in knowing you or knowing what you might need and you know to go back to the um, cooking thing 
I find it very ironic that, you know, professional chef is a male dominated industry. That's true. But yet when it comes to household, we ask women to cook. Yeah. <laughs> It's very funny. But like I, like I said, like I was telling you right now, we men should, you should know how to cook for yourself. I mean, you should know how to do all these things for yeah. yourself. Like, you, there's some men that are, I mean, I'm uh, like, I like to clean. Like, I'm a clean freak. And mm -hmm. I, I love it. You know what I mean? I, it's something that I like to do. I like to have my right. space clean, you know? And I love to cook for myself as well. And I feel like this is a good trait as well because you should know how to do this for yourself. Exactly. So if your wife is sick, you can be like, hey, babe, I, I got you. You know what I mean? If your wife is taking care of the kid because he's sick and she's been home the whole day, mm -hmm. you can come home and be like, oh, you, you okay? Let me whip you something as well. You know what I mean? You guys are all home together on a Sunday. Instead yeah. of her cooking because she's been cooking for you the whole week, you whip her. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a, it's a partnership. Like you have to be there for each other. If everybody knows how to do it, then we're all we're all rounded. Like everybody 360, exactly. we're, we're we're okay. You know what I mean? But it can be just like oh, uh, just her, her like cooking all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, if she loves cooking and she's like, hey, like I don't want you to come to the kitchen. That's a different story. Yeah, because because she enjoys she, she enjoys it. it. You no, know? but. But, you know, but if she's like always tired, you're like, hey, babe, like today, let me cook for you. You know yeah, what I mean? Step in. Yeah. Step in. If you love your wife, step in uh, as a man. If you love your partner, That's step That's in. That's what I say. You know, but I, I, I think that it's it's even like healthy modeling for mm -hmm. kids. Because if you have a little boy and you he always sees mom doing everything in the house and all he sees is dad sitting, waiting to be served. Yeah. That's what he's going to expect. That's what he's going to expect. And then the thing is, a lot of household and people are raised differently as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, Africans, we're almost all the same. Um, we're all, we're almost all the same. We kind of, it's similar to everything. So if, um, if a guy goes and marry an African that is modernized and be like, you know what? I'm not going to do what my mom did. She's, I mean, he served my dad. He did all those things. My dad didn't treat her well. He treated her like shit and all that. I, I'm not doing, I'm not dealing this. I'm not dealing with this with a man. I mean, you're going to give me respect. And before you're going to get respect, but right. it's not, I won't say that she's masculine for that. I'll say that she learned, she, she, she wants respect. So she's not going to come disrespecting the man. I'm not, I don't think girls just start disrespecting, but she's like, you have to show me something before I can open up that, uh, mm -hmm. myself like that. Too. Exactly. You have to show me something like I'm not going to That's be, your worth. That's your respect. worth my respect. But it's not like she's not disrespectful. Like, oh, you're stupid or no, she's not going to diss you. Mm -hmm. but in order to unlock the like the chores she's gonna be like doing all those things you have to show her something you know then she's not because now she learned that but no matter what she does you might still cheat on her you might still not respect her you might still be doing all those things so women are smarter now they're they're like they're, they're changing There's more knowledge they're more knowledge they're changing so um exactly. but what do you feel how do you feel when if a man came to you and be like are you submissive how how like do you like the word submissive or, or are uh, you submissive I think it's a very strange question to come to someone to have a conversation. Um, I don't think it's very respectful because first and foremost, I'm, I'm my own person. Um, who told you that I have to submit to you because you're a stranger <laughs> to me. You can't just come out of nowhere and asking me if I'm submissive. Yeah. What, what does that even mean? I know. I don't, you know? I don't, I don't submission i it's like because when the way i look at it is like the definition saying that being obedient putting your own needs aside for and to follow the other person's uh, uh like the other person's authority or whatever mm -hmm. it is i feel like we can both come together and both have that together yeah, because yeah, i can still be submissive to your dreams and you to be submissive to my dream exactly depending on the way what are what are what our dreams are mm -hmm. like it's if there's something that we can both work together and both realize our dreams and there's yeah. something like we're gonna be like oh okay well you know what you're gonna come you're gonna jump into what i'm trying to do just to see the way it goes you know we guys are together we're, we have a whole life in front of us let's try this you know what i mean And then, but there's me, the thing is, is the conversation. It doesn't have to be like, I don't know. The word submission seems a little bit like, like you're, it's you're, like you're, course yeah, it's like, bit. yeah, it's but, about control. but I feel like in, in a, a relationship supposed to, that's why I'm like, don't listen to people. I always like when you're in your own relationship, mm -hmm. don't listen to people. Do what's best, best for yeah. you and your, and your girl and you know, exactly. you or your man. 
what's best for you to, because you can't listen to what like all relationships are different mm -hmm. because I'm different she's different when we come together we have to figure things out exactly so you can you can be like oh society is saying that you have to be submissive I have a dream you're you I don't care you're leaving your dream because you have to I'm be submissive I'm the man of the house I control everything yeah I'm only supposed to lead mm -hmm. we can both lead yeah you're leading the kids while we're, I'm making decisions on what it is, you're also making decisions as well. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have all the ideas. Yes, I'm a man, but I don't have all the ideas as well. Yeah. I can bring an idea. You, you can bring input. an idea. If we need input. Sometimes your idea might be better than mine. Maybe yeah. you're saving my ass with your idea. Exactly. Because maybe my idea will bring us like destruction or yeah. it's going to make us fall in somewhere. It's going to be very hard to, exactly. to come back up. Exactly. So you're the one that we both have to come together and think about it. It's it's an exchange. You yeah. Know, Me, I've heard a lot of perception. men, a lot of men. I, I heard a lot of men saying that my wife sa saved me from a bunch of mistakes. Mm -hmm. Like I almost like and it's true. That's what I'm saying. Women are there as a support. Not saying that they're there to like, oh, women are supposed to support men, but they're there to to make us see other like that's what a, a relationships are for yeah imp help input improving yeah. uh, each other like life you exactly know? so yes that being said um i think it was <coughs> a really interesting conversation yeah. there's so much to be said about that topic of course and what would be your your conclusion when honestly it comes to my submission? when it comes to submission i feel like If, if, if it comes to me, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think that you should even ask that question to a woman. Mm -hmm. I think you should date the person. When you're dating the person, when you guys are we're together, and then, you know, you automatically you're going to see right. the type of person she is. Mm -hmm. So I don't think you should, because when you go and ask someone if you're submissive, I feel like you're asking them how, how <laughs> much you can manipulate them. You know what yeah. I mean? That's, the, that's, the, that's how I feel. Like, that's yeah. how I, when, I, when I hear submission, it's yeah. like, How gullible are you? How, how much how much can I manipulate you? Mm -hmm. So in my final thought, I'll be like, you know, it, I don't think women are not submissive. I feel like women are now changing yeah. because they see a lot of things going on on, on social. Well, they see the, the way they see the way social media is going. They see how men are behaving. So like I said, if it's going to change, it has to come from men because men are the one ruling the world. Um, I mean, yeah, uh, we're the one. Yeah, yeah. patriarchy. Um, I think that overall men who think like that need to uh, need to stop obsessing with submission from mm. women i don't think it's a healthy way to you know start a relationship um and i think it should be more important to have a focus on partnership respect um you know sharing values that are healthy for like the betterment of the relationship mm -hmm. and if there's kids involved uh what type of modeling are you teaching your children So, yes, I think that um, they should stop asking that question because it's weird. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's very much, I feel, rooted in control. And I don't believe, as I said, that it's a healthy way to start relationships. I agree. So, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.